Welcome to the 2024 Basement Studio Tour. So if you've been following me since I began my YouTube journey in 2020, I've literally had pretty much every setup scenario. Uh, I've started in the apartment, I've had the home office, I've had a separate office studio space. That's actually when I really launched out in 2020 on YouTube. And now I'm here in the basement studio. So what you're gonna see is a collection of years when it comes to equipment and just what works for me essentially when it comes to creating content for myself or doing it for clients so like i said we are down here in the basement which i really started to build out earlier this year and a lot has changed uh, and i pretty much have it to a place where i think it works the best for everything that i need so let's kind of start here first is our storage area so behind me, I have a couple racks set up, and this is where new equipment shows up. Uh, equipment that I have to review for Amazon, equipment that comes in that I review for the YouTube channel. I have equipment that is for sale that I keep on the shelf as well. And some equipment that I have that just hasn't quite seen the light of day yet and it's still in boxes. Now up at the very top, we have our PTZ accessory. So I keep some of the boxes for the cameras, for controllers, mounting brackets extra controllers things like that are all up there and you'll also see at the very top which we'll talk about when we go to the other side of the basement is a ptz camera that is my deep shot video feed so that camera is actually not just sitting up there for no reason it's actually part of the live stream video setup so I have some tripods that are sitting down here. I actually have the Osbot Tail Airs here on tripods that I just finished up a video and release actually today. Over here we have boxes. Now boxes are important because I do get a lot of equipment for review and so when I want to go sell this stuff or uh, ship it back out to somewhere else, I keep some boxes. So I have plenty of boxes that I keep here in the basement. And then on this side over here, come with me, we have some come with me like yeah come with me we have some totes that have cables and accessories all kind of stuff in here um nothing too crazy over there down here we have a pelican case or a couple pelican cases and the pelican cases are for when i go out and do client work so i have them easily accessible and there's some gear that stays in there all the time like cables so um always ready to go at any any notice um over here we have a small workstation right here behind me and this workstation uh it's really just like a testing bed area I have my laptop here external monitor on it we have our sure microphone and headphones so just a little area just for additional tests and stuff that it you'll probably never see on camera uh behind it is my light this is the newer Bicolor color light that I've had for years. I had this in my old studio space, the dedicated studio space. And it's probably one of the very first product reviews that I ever did before I realized I was doing product reviews. So that light has been with me for about three years, probably over three years, and I've still used that light. So definitely uh, one of my favorite pieces of gear that I've held on to. Now over here behind me, I have my green screen and I was surprised with the happy birthday 40 banner uh, my birthday is actually tomorrow december 22nd so it's actually was hung to my surprise on my green screen which is uh, behind there uh, i have a desk that i have right here and my dolphins pad on it so you've seen some videos from this desk so if i don't feel like being in another uh, place over there that we'll get to i'll record stuff here i'll do b-roll product shots here as well so this space really comes in handy um let's see i just moved it uh but i throw up some b-roll i have a camera slider that i actually use here as well for recording products that are on that desk so the camera slider is from iFootage and it's on an iFootage tripod as well so definitely one of those things that allows me to get the steady shot because i don't have a steady hand which is why vlogging like this feels very, very awkward. Uh, but that slider definitely helps me get the perfect shot every single time. And let's head on over to what you guys really want to see, uh, the main other two studios and all the stuff that got over there. 
All right, we are in the next setup, if you will. And this is the space that I spend the most time in because it's also my productivity area. So when it comes to YouTube content, this is the talking head area. And I'll kind of start with what's in front of me. I'm using the Sony FX30 camera with a 30 millimeter Sigma lens because I do have a little bit of distance between the desk and where the camera is set up. So that's the combination that I'm using for video. And then on top of the camera, I actually have the Sony XLR adapter that allows me to bring in this Sennheiser microphone and have really good audio coming directly into the camera. And right below the camera, I have a Lilliput monitor. And in my home studio, when I had it there, that Lilliput monitor was actually used for my teleprompter. And I haven't quite set up the teleprompter in this space, but I do have the monitor sitting there. And I mainly use it more as a confidence monitor more than anything. Now on the desk itself here, I have uh, this L-shaped desk that allows me to hold this large 49 inch monitor. This is my Samsung monitor. And I've done a full review on this monitor. It's a little outdated if you will, but if you do like it, there's a really good deal on Amazon with this monitor because it's 49 inches and having a large monitor will never go out of style in my opinion. Uh, when it comes to audio here on the desk, I do have the Shure SM7B on the Elgato uh, low profile arm. So this is really nice to have it in the shot. And then when I don't need it in the shot, I can easily just push it off to the side and have a free desk. Um, right here in front of me is probably one of the best investments ever. This is the Remarkable 2 notebook. So all my notes, all my thoughts, I can put it here, I take it with me. Uh, one of the best pieces of technology ever invented that doesn't have an app, it has no color, it's just a tablet that you write with. Now, it might sound crazy if you've never had anything like this, but if you're a pen and paper type of person like I was, this having it in a digital format that makes it easy to find your notes, organized file structure, all in here, this thing is the best, the Remarkable 2. Uh, over here to my right hand side, I have the Rodecaster Duo. So I have my Shure SM7B going directly into that. And then from a time to time, depending on the scenario, I'll route the overhead boom microphone into that uh, Rodecaster as well. Now when it comes to my keyboard and mice combination, I use Logitech. I'm using the Logitech K860 keyboard, which is an ergonomic keyboard. So I really like the feel of using ergonomics. Once you go ergonomic, you probably will never go back. And the mouse that I'm using is the Master MX3, which you can see both of these have sustained a lot of wear uh, over time because I do use them on a regular basis and um, definitely have no intentions of upgrading them to anything until they literally fall apart. That's how much I love the Logitech uh, equipment for my combination of keyboard and mouse and I also like the fact that with those uh, in particular you can pair those with multiple devices so here on the desk I'm using the Mac mini that these are connected to but if I ever want to bring over my MacBook I can easily swap out my mouse and bring it right over here to the front of the table and use it with my MacBook because underneath the mouse you can switch it between three different uh, devices which is pretty nice uh, capability of both the keyboard and the mouse. Now when it comes to lighting this area in front of me I have the Aperture 120D with the light dome so it gives me all the light that you're seeing in these videos which is a light that I've had for quite a while and I really like the aperture lights and behind me I have the JVM light which is actually one of three JVM lights I have the three pack kit one of the lights is actually being used here and if you saw one of the more recent videos I talked about uh, the new Mullis light that we'll get to here in a second because I rearranged some of my lighting to put some light behind me and the JVM light is the one that's behind me now this light is actually sitting in front of a faux wall it's a six panel fake wall which looks way better than the aluminum of the basement so I needed something without putting up physical walls in the basement so having a full wall gives me a little bit more dynamic to this particular shot and then I also have a TV that's behind me which I believe is the 43 inch TV and what do we have going 
we have Ecamm Live actually back there now, right now, watching a video on Ecamm and some of the features you can do with their live streaming um, and recording software, which I use for my Mac Mini over here and my MacBook Pro that's on the other desk and uh, taking it with me everywhere. So the TV is actually part of a, a, a bigger infrastructure, which I'll talk about a little bit later. I uh, got a couple books here, a little fake plant, stuff like that to kind of have this set look like an actual set. Now, I think we have everything covered over this side. So let's kind of move on over to the last area. Ugh, all right. So on this side of the basement studio, we have a lot going on over here. Now, this is what I refer to as my PTZ complete setup because the only cameras that I use on this side of the studio are PTZ cameras because that's what this channel focuses a lot on when it comes to the video side of things. So I wanna make sure that I have it in a way that allows me to live stream, record, demonstrate and really show you guys the behind the scenes of how all of this stuff is set up and connected so it gives you an idea of the things that you can do so this is the third area of this studio space now I'm trying to look in front of me to make sure that I highlight a lot of what we have going on here one of which is being power um, I use an APC backup power unit which every everything is plugged into it drives all of the power that we need here uh, I also have my networking equipment over here I use a Sedola network switch which I've more recently really configured the way that I want now it is an unmanaged switch but it still uh, needed to be reset up need to be labeled all that good stuff because we have all of our PTZ cameras connected directly into our switch because a lot of our PoE cameras, or because of a lot of our cameras are PoE, which is power over ethernet. So it allows me to power the cameras over ethernet and then also bring them into my network so I can log into them at any time and make adjustments that way, or I can remotely control them over the network. So we have our networking equipment over there, our router over there, and then we also have a matrix switcher, which is what I was referring to a little bit earlier about the infrastructure part of this now in the previous area you saw that I had a TV and in this area I have two TVs one which is directly in front of me which I use for my confidence monitor I'll use it for zoom meeting so that I can see who that I'm talking to or the if I'm doing a training teaching I see the group of people that I'm talking to and then I also have a monitor behind me and all three of those monitors are plugged into that matrix switcher now I did a full video on the matrix switcher and I'll link to it above so you can check it out and I can switch and put anything on any one of the three TVs. I can put my ATEM on a TV. I can put my computer on a TV, um, whether that's this laptop or the MacBook on the other side. So I can really leverage the matrix switcher and it's a really good uh, thing to have if you have a multiple monitor set up and you want to switch what is being displayed on which monitor. But you guys can check that out in that video. Um, over to the right hand side here, I do have my accessories. I have things like batteries. I have a wireless microphone over there. Um, I have my ATEM, which it runs all the video. Um, everything is plugged into there. HDMI, uh, that's the ATEM Mini Extreme ISO. So eight different inputs running into that. Uh, we also have the Stream Deck XL over there, which allows me to have a lot of hotkeys. Now, the Stream Deck XL being over there isn't like the best because I never use it because it's over there. But if I do take that setup on a video set uh, for client work, then it's it's already programmed and ready to go. And then you also see right beside it, I have a few external hard drives that I use for recording directly to the ATEM. Um, let's see here. Let's see what's on our desk. What is on our desk? On our desk, we have our Rodecaster Pro 2, which feeds all of our audio. Uh, we have the brand new Shure SM7 dB microphone here on a Shure Boom R, which is one uh, audio device that we have going into it. Just overhead, I have the Sennheiser MKH50, which is a boom microphone that is feeding into it. 
uh, the wireless Shure SM58 is going into it and sometimes I'll actually wear the lapel microphone and that is going into the Rodecaster as well so definitely maxing out the Rodecaster 2 on this side of the desk uh, right beside it we have the PTZ Optics SuperJoy controller uh, one of the essential parts of the whole PTZ infrastructure that we have here and it controls all of the PTZs in the studio so anytime I can press any of the camera options and switch between any of my PTZ cameras and have that full pan tilt zoom capabilities with it. Uh, on the desk right in front of me is the laptop. This is the brand new MacBook Pro with the M3 chip and this is essential to live streaming to working over here. Um, I am been doing a lot more over here when it comes to creating content recently so you guys will be seeing a lot of videos coming up here soon and more specifically we're going to be talking about different ways to live stream some of the th things that have changed since 2020 i'm updating a lot of those videos uh, we've been running ecamm on this laptop so stay tuned for all my mac users mac users we are going to be really be having some fun with Ecamm and live streaming and NDI, PTZ cameras, all that fun stuff. Um, the desk itself that all this is sitting on is a desk that I've had since 2020 as well in my very first studio. This is the autonomous standing desk. Now, I don't think they sell this desk anymore. They have an upgraded version of it, but this is a stand sit desk. Uh, which is nice because I do a lot of standing here and more recently got a chair to sit every once in a while for those longer talking sessions if you will um, Lights over here. We have the JVM light in front of me over to the side here I have a JVM light behind me which gives some RGB color We have the Molus G60 light which was a video we've done here recently so we have some lighting over here and then I actually have a hair light above me as well which definitely breaks up the background uh, and, and brings a little bit more definition to the video. So that is above me uh, and that other PTZ cameras above me too. Uh, we have PTZs everywhere over here like I mentioned. This is the PTZ set. So directly in front of me we have our BZB Gear 4K PTZ camera which the quality is amazing people definitely have asked about what camera I'm using and they're surprised that it's a PTZ camera that's able to put out that 4k quality and what's crazy about that is too I'm feeding the 4k video into a 1080p ATEM switcher and it's not really losing a lot of that quality when it's going into that ATEM switcher so it's really nice um, the quality coming out of that BZB gear we have the PTZ optics camera which is one of my side shots we have an A-Video 1 PTZ camera which is another side shot we have a BZB gear camera behind me which is our overhead shot and then we have the Pursual 30X camera that's the deep shot so as you watch the videos and you see me switch between the different camera angles they are different manufacturers of these different cameras and I try to do that so that you guys can see the different out of the box settings the different colors things of that nature so PTZ cameras all around all around PTZ cameras all around um, we have accessories all back here, the logo and lights, um, different gear that I'll grab and refer to, especially if we're doing Amazon live streams and there's deals. So I'll definitely have some of the things that are on deal more accessible to me to reach for. <clears throat> boxes, I keep a lot of boxes of gear, uh, lenses, microphones, cameras, lights, a lot of boxes and accessories over there. I want to link to everything in the description section and I want to make it easy for you guys if you want to check out anything um, I'm going to break it out into sets so you can just click studio one two or three and you can click on that jump over to Amazon and it'll have all the gear there rather than trying to link out everything individually in the description section and if you decide to purchase anything you definitely do help support this channel it costs you nothing extra but it does help support this channel and I'm excited for you guys to leave some comments. Uh, what kind of gear do you guys have in your studio? Uh, give me some use cases. And I definitely want to get back into something I asked last year 
which was behind the scenes studio pictures that you guys have and check out what you guys are working with uh, whether that's in your home studio or maybe a studio you manage for your church or ministry definitely love hanging out and talking tech with other people that are in this space so appreciate you guys for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next video